There was no warning for us. There was no warning. In front of my house, I nearly got carried away by the flood. Just in front over there. The government of Samoa wants an integrated, comprehensive solution to working with its population to protect them and their environment. Climate change now is a global issue and it should be written into all the strategy development plan for, for Samoa. Like other small island developing states, climate change is a critical challenge in Samoa threatening livelihoods, infrastructure, economic development and the natural environment. These threats were most recently underscored by the unprecedented flooding during Cyclone Evan. The height is about this. Everything underneath is gone. I mean, people in this area, the only place we can go to is the church, because it's high. They were trying to find people at the other end, near the bridge, from the top. They just knew that they were drifted down, and that's the end of it. The proposed LDCF project for Samoa is one of the largest climate change adaptation projects ever undertaken in the Pacific. The UNDP and Government of Samoa will inaugurate a uniquely integrated, economy-wide adaptation effort. Adaptation is one area that uh, the small island countries are is using it as a tool to reduce the damage uh, from the adverse impact of uh, climate change. And it affects, for example, food security, water security, all this, uh, you know, even tourism. Most of these projects are fragmented in nature. The government of Samoa has been inundated with small project ideas. What is important is that we start to integrate the various efforts and to look at something that is far more comprehensive. It's an economy-wide approach to confronting climate change. Here in our tradition, uh, Samoan custom, that uh, the women are the backbone of any household. And uh, as well as the young men, these are the, the people that uh, are carried a lot of responsibility in terms of uh, preparing families, uh, better prepared families in case of uh, natural disasters uh, such as uh, river flooding. The water start to come up, and that's why my children said, just leave everything. Because this is the first time in history since I, I'm alive that it was flooded differently from other floodings. You know, it's always uh, comforting for, for small island development countries to call on the experience in terms of the technical uh, know-how as well as uh, the way that uh, we have to prepare project documents. In this regard, UNDP is commended for the way that they it conduct itself and work with, uh, with the government of Samoa. The collaboration and support and partnership, really, genuine partnership between the government of Samoa and UNDP is really remarkable. And I think the successes of the projects uh, in climate change adaptation that we've had have been very notable. And the future work of having a more integrated and comprehensive approach will, will be the remedy to, to bring it all together. Through Component 1, the Government of Samoa will systematically integrate climate change adaptation and disaster risk management into national policies and plans across all economic sectors, thereby kick-starting the National Adaptation Plan process in Samoa, 
mainstreaming climate change into development and sectoral plans will serve to create sector-specific objectives for climate change adaptation. Institutional and operational frameworks to coordinate climate change adaptation will be strengthened to enhance national coordination of plans and projects between government agencies, boosting overall operational efficiency. Further, the project will build the capacities of communities to manage climate change adaptation and disaster risk management projects to leverage available funding for improving local level resilience to climate change. The second component of the project will focus on enhancing the resilience of the communities of Samoa as first responders to climate change induced hazards. An integrated watershed management plan for Greater Apia will be developed in order to reduce the risks of flooding. This integrated watershed management plan will yield specific recommendations on hard and soft adaptation measures to protect community assets. Further, the Government of Samoa will invest in creating sustainable micro-enterprises for youth and women on agro-businesses aimed to improve household level income and savings and therefore increase their ability to respond to climate-induced natural disasters. Finally, disaster plans that take into account climate information will be set up for a hundred villages in Samoa. Component 3 aims to improve monitoring systems and knowledge management at the institutional level. National level awareness campaigns will be conducted to increase capacity of the communities on the linkages between climate change adaptation and disaster risk management in different sectors. A comprehensive monitoring and evaluation framework will be created to support the coordination of knowledge on climate change adaptation. National and international knowledge sharing will enable government institutions to learn from other relevant climate adaptation initiatives, specifically with respect to the delivery of on-the-ground interventions.